uh, Duck Hunt Dog for uh, Banjo and Kazooie. And uh, in, most people in Amer uh, America think that Banjo is a really bad character, but in Japan, uh, mm. Banjo is known to be a pretty competent character. That's and actually cra I, pretty crazy. And I think uh, Rydal thinks Duck Hunt, I mean, uh, Banjo is better than Duck Hunt, actually. I mean, well, so, he's just going to have to prove it, right? And uh, Raito will definitely be the one to do it if that's the case. <laughs> but if Raito does lose, he sometimes does still, you know, pick Duck Hunt. So, we, we, you know, don't give up yet. Everyone. Yeah. I mean, when it comes to Duck Hunt, Raito's kind of the one that put him on the map, right? So. Mm -hmm. Let, let's see what Raito's able to do here against Cookie, Mr. Game & Watch. Raito always just picks the characters that people think are low tier and just de develops the meta in a crazy way that no one expects. So yeah, yeah I mean, you might see that for Banjo. So. And we're already seeing great use of the side B there, just because, uh, you know, <coughs> Cookie was getting a little bit, uh, eh, I guess, too comfortable just sitting there and uh, holding neutral. So great use of the mm -hmm. side B there to charge just to get your way in there. Uh oh, but starting to collect in the little bucket of his. Gotta watch out how you throw those eggs. I think that what's also really interesting, maybe he really likes using projectiles, like a lot of those eggs, and you know, you yeah, can throw yeah, them yeah. a bunch of different angles, so maybe that's what Raito really enjoys, because... Yeah, and the setups as well, like, they kind of seem pretty similar to Duck Hunt, and, you know, uh, looking at the screen now, it does kind of seem like uh, Banjo and Kazooie is just a bigger duck hunt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in just a way they're the kind of like... evolutionary tree. It's like, a, yeah, exactly. It's like the same character, but like in a different dimension or something. The parallel universe. So, right. you know, duck hunt mains might be a little disappointed, but I'm pretty excited to see, you know, what Raito's going to do with this character. Man, I'm really liking the use of just Raito really utilizing the range of all of Banjo's attacks right now. Mm -hmm. Look at and that duck, uh, and that down tilt as well. It, it, it seems like duck, uh, it's similar to Duck Hunt's uh, down tilt as well, but it's just it's better in every way, the range and like the angle it sends. Look at that clashing. Touchy Banjo able to run underneath. Wow, that up tilt, the buff up tilt. I don't. I think it would have killed it even, if, uh, even before the buff, but it's crazy if it hits. It's a pretty small hitbox, but you know it does. It is a pretty decent move. Roll. <laughs> it gets the one uh, dealing uh, uh, some self damage. The down tilt there. We'll just tack on that for sinking him off the stage again. And man, these forward airs doing absolute work against Mr. Game and Watch Cookie. Mm -hmm. Maybe just dropping the shield a little bit too early. I gotta watch out for this IP as well. Raido probably has all five in his arsenal. Okay, he uses one. Wow, that was big brain. He had he had the egg, so that uh, even if he whiffed, uh, he wouldn't be punished. Punished for that. Trying to seal it out quick. Raito trying to go home. Mm -hmm. Trying to eat some lunch. Yeah, the early kill power that Banjo has feels like something that Duck Hunt pretty uh, lacks, except for his, you know, smash attacks. But you know, Banjo also has really good smash attacks. So yeah, I can see why Raito likes this character. Yeah, I just oh, I gets in. Again. Dodges the chef perfectly. Yeah, we saw that Cookie was getting punished for that earlier, right? With the, the side B and, you know, the forward airs. And again, losing a stock to just sitting there and hitting that neutral B. Flipping the bacon. Getting a little bit too comfortable. I, I mean, I, I guess with all the, the spacing that Raito was throwing out, he was able to just keep Cookie out and keep tacking on that percent. So it's got to be demoralizing, right? So you want to throw out your own projectiles. But if you throw out your own projectiles, then Raito is just going to side B you or jump into the air and mm -hmm. forward air you because your neutral B just takes so long to throw out. Oh, yeah, but mm -hmm. uh, we saw uh, Cookie choose a uh, small battlefield now. So he now has a platform. So his landing and his mix ups might be much easier. Like, he's not going to have a problem with Wonder Wing catching his landing since he can mix it up between Ooh. the platforms. And the uh, egg, egg, egg to up air coming through. 
doing a lot of percent. Clean. That's kind of cute. Okay. The backer drag down to dash stack as well. The X man is catching the jump. Oh, oh wow. Dude, he's just, my man is Great, pushing buttons start. right now. He's throwing, he's touching everything. Still. Oh, I was, I was gonna say, please not like this. The absolute momentum on Raito right now. The game has now finally slowed down with 110% tacked onto Mr. Game and Watch. But that mm -hmm. side B not gonna be able to get off the stage Whoa. there. <laughs> That would have been demoralizing, but <laughs> luckily he couldn't connect. Try to catch the tech there. I like the attempt. Oh no, the grenade. This, I, I'm not gonna lie, this seems absolutely demoralizing for Cookie. This seems really tough, just the spacing, the tilts coming out from right. 142 for, for Game of Watch as well. That is a pretty big bar uh, burden to carry. Yeah, and the uh, buff back here as well, killing. Alright, we have Cookie back to the stage with the side B. I mean, he, it was a really good, it was a good attempt there, but not able to, to catch it. 123% tacked onto right to let's see if Cookie will be able to squeeze this out. We got the eggs back to neutral. Is not exactly the position that Cookie wants to be in. But using that bucket, I, I'm really liking it. Because he could get a lot of those eggs and grenades there. Ooh. Almost caught. If he would have rolled in there, that would have been a little bit dangerous. I'm liking the walls that Raito's putting up. Raito's really utilizing the buff moves that uh, Banjo got in the previous patch. Poor bird, poor Kazooie. <laughs> this is an abusive relationship, what is this? Oh, ah, uh, okay. Uh, I think that was just an air dodge once there. Went way too low, not gonna be able to get back. So he wants to keep that momentum. So he just opts to down air. Get back to the stage as quickly as possible. Yep. And he still has uh, a full stock lead, so. He does have uh, a lot of room for mistakes. Oh my goodness! Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, almost six eggs. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, got the grenade as well. Almost comes out instantly. Able to break that combo. Mm -hmm. The amount of different options that Banjo has thrown out at the edge is just impressive. It's almost different every wow. single time. Beside me. Yep. So you really have to to guess. He's really making it. Mm -hmm. He's really making it look like a collectathon right now. I mean, Cookie just collecting all of those eggs to the face. Mm -hmm. And just showing everyone. Uh, right, was just showing everyone who doubted his duck hunt. I mean, his banjo and kazooie that. You know, <laughs> he can still do, uh, do just fine with this uh, DLC character. Yeah, so I think this is just DLC Duck Hunt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean... It's just DLC Duck Hunt. Also, it's really great to see a, a different set of characters, as you were mentioning, in the West. They really believe that Banjo is a terrible character. But over here, you know, Japan mm -hmm. has been kind of known as sometimes of a wild card where you'll see Captain Falcons winning majors and such. So it's yeah. really great to see a wide variety of characters, which is... You know, which is why it's a great reason to tune into these Japanese tournaments. Mm -hmm. And it's not because like the player level here is low or anything. Like everyone's just optimizing their own characters in their own ways, and it's just really fun to watch. But here we are, Cookie already doing much better this time, making full take back full on FD and though. And the That's a surprising pick. Back on off, uh, back on FD. Like, they played here on uh, game one, and then Cookie decided to switch, but switch up platform stage, but he's coming back. I wonder why. But Great use of the reflector there. Just give him a little bit of time to get back yep. onto the stage. Ooh, that is scary. All options covered in that exchange there. This banjo. Yeah, Rydal just perfectly covering all of his butt. Wow. <laughs> just a mass smash coming out from Cookie. Surprising Rydal probably. But 
Okay. Oh no, at the edge. Twenty percent from just jab. <laughs> Able to block the grenade in time. Okay, I'm liking all the options that Cookie's throwing out here. Oh, goes for it all. Just gets the two though, but we take those. A little bit of mm -hmm. percent is percent. Yep, and Bizabi gets the stock. I'll mix up the landing with Egg and well, the two fairs just dealing about 40%. Yeah, you know, that that fair looks like it takes a lot of priority over uh, game and watch aerial attacks, so. It was looking good for Cookie because he was kind of going for all these aerial changes and throwing out the quicker moves like neutral air. But now that I think uh, Raito has caught on, he's throwing out the fair a lot more. He's throwing it out really early as well just to catch any approach. And what's surprising to me actually is that uh, Raito plays Duck Hunt, I mean not Duck Hunt. <laughs> I keep saying Duck Hunt because as soon as I say uh, Raido, like, the image of Duck Hunt just shows up in my mind. But yeah, uh, Raido is Banjo. Uh, Banjo's mostly known for being really defensive and just waiting the opponent out at a ledge with his eggs and eggs. But, uh, wait, with his mm, mm, eggs and palms. But Raido is playing in a way that's really in the opponent's face and just catching all of their mistakes. Definitely going for that mid range. Of and I'm really digging a lot of tilts. Mm -hmm. Great use of the grenade as well. Cookie does still have a chance, you know, the nine. <laughs> Are we gonna see it? All right, back to uh, throwing out that B. Keep an extra distance this time if Cookie is aware, but. Uh, and the side B. <laughs> wow, that side B is so strong. It's so strong. God, uh, that noise. Oh. <laughs> and this uh, 3 0 curse is How back. Gonna get, yeah, you're going to get 3 0 and you have to listen to that. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, jeez. Simulation. All right, but you know what? I, I really like that last game from Cookie.